Hello everyone, Human Hard Drive here. Um, today I'm going to be starting off a new series where we're going to be deviating a bit from the past. Um, I'm going to be moving away from the Arduino and the AVR architecture. I'm still going to be doing videos, but uh, if you've been following my blog, you know that I'm sort of done with the Arduino tutorials. I've pretty much gone over everything you'd need to know about the basics of this device to get it working. I'm still going to be dealing with the Arduino. Still going to be doing some shield stuff and some user and user uh, not user requests, viewer submitted requests. But we're going to move on to this, or we're going to be using this rather. This right here is something one of my viewers suggested to me. Uh, I had originally thought that starting off with ARM would be really expensive because you've got to deal with. Uh, buying evaluation boards, programmers, tool chains, IDEs, a lot of overhead that I really that the Arduino and other things like the MSP and Parallax kind of do away with. But this let me tell you what this is. This is the Discovery 30 Discovery STM 32 F4 evaluation board. This thing has a 32 bit that's 32 bit 32-bit, 168 megahertz Cortex uh, ARM processor. So this thing is extremely powerful in the microcontroller world. And this evaluation board has so much to offer. So you got the processor. You've got a, a three-axis accelerometer. You have a microphone. You have a speaker out with audio-capable digital to analog converter, and you have USB hosting capabilities as well as USB client capabilities. All with, I don't actually know how many GPOs this has offhand, but it looks like a lot. Programmers built in, uh, toolchain we'll talk about, uh, IDE, relatively simple. This thing is just insane. And again, for 15 bucks, probably one of the best purchases. I've made this year. So, what are we going to do with this? Well, I want to take this in a slightly different direction. Whereas we had the AVR, we did a lot of hardware level stuff with the AVRC, which again, I'm still doing. Don't, don't panic. I'm going to be taking this in a slightly higher level direction. There's something that you can run on this called an RTOS which I will discuss in the next video, but it allows for higher level abstraction with this board. So you can do things like multitasking, um, better timers, there's just a lot that you can do with this. So again, this offers slightly higher level, a slightly higher level look at the embedded platform. So that's what we're going to be doing with this board, and this is an introduction to the board. So I will leave you with some pretty lights. There we go. Pretty lights. So, I'm Human Hard Drive. Keep an eye out for this board in future videos. Thanks for watching.